That's kind of her thing, isn't it? It somehow became silent. Rinna was just staring at the pattern in the milk made on the surface of her coffee without saying a word. For somebody like me who could never stop talking, it was a rather uncomfortable moment. Rinna's off-put mannerism seemed to imply I said something I shouldn't have. That unpleasantness carried on for a little while. Rinna, I said something to you. I was afraid to get hurt. That was a story. That's why I said something. So I said something. 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 Rinna answered by laughing while continuing to play dumb. Questioning if she said that. As thick headed as I was, I had a faint realization. Rinna wanted to say that I was the one who hurt me on. But when? Me? Oh. You know, I was thinking we have nothing to do with this, so I don't know why she'd be mad at us specifically, but I just came to the realization if she thinks we hurt me on, then we might be in for some trouble soon. I continued the conversation, but left out the assumption that I had hurt me on. See, now I'm trying to think back to the beginning of the chapter, like to before we met Shion. We met her in the cafe. I'm trying to think about what happened before then. Like what we said to Mion. That kind of stuff. I continued the conversation but left out the assumption I'd hurt Mion. Unfortunately, Keiichi will still die. Rita replied, also leaving out the assumption that I had hurt Mion. But that confirmed it. I don't know how it happened, but it seemed that I had hurt Mion. And Rinna was upset with me due to the fact that I hadn't realized it. Seeing right through what I was thinking, Rinna said that as she smiled even more gently than usual.俺に落ち度があるなら、はっきり言いそうだと言ってくれないか。俺は自分でもあきれるほど鈍感なんだ。謝るべきことがあるなら、少しでも早くそれに気づいて謝罪したいと思ってる。別に、ケイチ君に落
双子の妹なんて話は嘘であれは妹のふりをしてるみーちゃんだったらどう思う I mean, that's pretty much what we've gone with the whole chapter here. Rinna was sharper than her daily behavior belied. I was hesitant in verbally affirming that, but it was the right answer. After maintaining the silence for a while, Rinna glanced at the clock. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, it's probably a coping mechanism of some sort. Either for our character or for me on herself. After thanking me for the dessert, Rinna stood up from her seat. Rina was harsh in her apology, but I was the one who really should have apologized. Does it have something to do with Keiichi treating her like a guy and then she wants some way to express like a feminine side? Maybe? Maybe. How? Switching to cute mode only at the end. She disappeared in the direction of the register. While I was staring into space, somebody suddenly tapped me on the shoulder. It was Xion, who had changed into her street clothes. She flashed a smile while greeting me. Why did everyone leave like that? Why didn't anybody bother to say bye? We ended up strolling around without any destination in particular. I'd been sitting the entire time, so I was in need of a breath of fresh air. Gonna work off those calories. When we left, the sky had already become draped in a veil of darkness. Shion seemed upset that there wasn't much time left. Saying that, Shion set out for the tree line boulevard behind the station. The front of the station was slowly becoming crowded with businessmen heading home. I could only smile and laugh wryly. I remembered what Rinna and I had been talking about earlier. I said that they looked the same, but their personalities were different, while Rinna said they were both the same. I don't know what tipped her off, but Rinna figured out that Xion was Mion. I mean, you kind of figured it out right away too, so it can't be something, you know, that only 
idiots figure out. You know, I'm pretty sure everyone knows if you figured it out so quickly. Also related to that, she said that I had hurt me on. Rena had only given one hint. That was why Mion is pretending to be Xion. Xion wa ore no koto Mion kara nante kiteru nda? One wa Kei chan no koto o kiniiri mitai desu kara. Jōzetsu ni iroiro to shabette kuremasu yo. Bukatsu no hanashi toka, yarare ta toka, yari kaeshi ta toka, sonna otoko no ko mitai na hanashi bakari desu. Yeah. That's kind of, I'm still, I'm kind of leaning towards my idea either she wants to express a side of being feminine or she wants to express a side that just isn't boyish, you know? Like being thoughtful and methodical, like she said. Maybe. Boyish kinds of stories, huh? Come to think of it, I think there was something Shion told me before. Kei-chan, you don't think of my sister as a girl, do you? Was that... Was that what happened that hurt Mion? Mion herself said that she wished she'd been born a boy, and that being a girl didn't suit her. She said a lot of things to that effect, didn't she? Kei-chan, I don't know if you're happy to be happy to be happy. No, no. Saying that, she lightly chopped my forehead. Even though Xion was enjoying herself, I was still trying to figure out how I'd hurt Mion. I was having a hard time figuring out the riddle that Rena had left me with. Xion was having fun window shopping, dragging me by all sorts of stores that I would normally never enter. It wasn't like she was begging me to buy or anything, and I wasn't getting bored either. It was just something to talk about as we walked around. In an easygoing way, we browsed through numerous stores. We discussed all sorts of topics I knew nothing about, but I didn't lose interest. I had the feeling that she was good at conversation. ケイちゃんってこういうの初めてですかああ、初めてだよ。こんな小物のお店なんかこうして連れてきてもらわなかったら一生入らなかったな。そういうのじゃなくて、その、こういう感じの… I leaped back when Xion suddenly linked her arm with mine. Xion's expression was a little bit miffed, but suggestive at the same time. Fuck! <laughs> I think, uh, I think Mion likes Keiichi. For sure. Maybe it's like something along the lines that she likes him. But Keiichi said something that, like, kind of showed her that he didn't like her back. And she wanted a persona that could like him. Maybe that's kind of the case. <laughs> Laughing in good spirits, she unlocked her arm with mine. My heart skipped a beat. Hanno,楽しみたいんで、意地悪に質問しますけど、ケイちゃん、女の子と腕組んだことあります? <laughs> That little devil! She was asking that question knowing full well what the answer would be. <laughs> so 
お前本当にシオンなんだろうなニオンがシオンだって嘘をついてるんじゃないのかお姉がシオンのふりをしてるかもしれないって思ってますさっきまでは双子だと思ってたが悪ふざけの仕方がミオンとそっくりすぎるからな口ではそんなこと言ってますけどケイちゃんはちゃんと私とお姉を区別してますよ区別ってなんだよお姉がこうやって腕を取ってきたらケイちゃんドキドキしますかドキドキする関節技でもかけられるんじゃないかと思ってビクビクする Shion laughed so hard she had to hold on to her sides. Oi, oi, so nani okashi kotokayo. Katahara osaite, namida tameru kraini. Ye, ye, so no. One te shonga nai na te omotan des. Toshigoro no toko no koto de okunde, shinzo takanaras koto mo deki nai nante. Honto ni onna no koshikaku des yo ne. I remembered once again that I'd heard someone say that before. お姉は男の子に生まれた方が良かったんじゃないかなって思うことありますよ。そしたら私も惚れてるかもな。なんちゃって。<笑>ミオンも男の子に生まれたかったなんて言ってたな。お姉は女の子がしたいのか男の子がしたいのか、ちょっと半端なんですよね。Yep. See, it's, a, it's like a coping mechanism, is what we're dealing with here. Ma, Bukicho na ikikata no tsuke desu kara ne. Hotte oite agete kudasai. Sanki kara, jitsu no ane ni zuibun na ikikata da na. Watashi, Mion no dokoto naku amaete tokoro, suki ja nai ndes. The way that Shion talked somehow sounded cold. Shion te. ミオンとあんまり仲良くないのかまあそこそこは仲良くやってますでも姉妹として許せないなってところはいろいろありますよああれ見てくださいかわいいと思いません<笑>